I always feel like uh, a lot of things happen for a reason. And in the moment, you don't always realize why. You know, you have your emotions, you have a... Uh, just your mind is constantly thinking about why something happened or you want to, you know, try to blame yourself or, you know, whatever the case may be. Our, our minds as humans, we go through a lot of emotions, right? But, um, you know, I've been experiencing a lot of, like, negative things in my life right now. And, uh, I mean, it's been like that for a while, you know, it's been happening a lot. Just, just different things, you know, and, and, and I know, uh, we have the cliche of like, uh, you know, just keep, just keep keeping on or, you know, uh, God gives the, our strongest fights to the strongest people and stuff like that. I try to stay positive. You know, I've been carrying the weight of my barbershop for a few months and it's taking a toll on me, you know, I, uh, I don't want to be cutting, you know, 12 people every day. Uh, I want to have some days off to be with my family, and I want to have some days off to do things at home, to run errands, you know, to live my life. My whole life right now revolves around the barbershop because if I don't do that, I don't make enough money to cover my rent and my expenses because I don't have enough barbers. Um, I haven't even had time to go visit high, the, you know, barber colleges to try to recruit, you know, I keep relying on, I rely on God to, you know, provide the right people, and, um, it hasn't happened, so I'm just, like, thinking, like, why is that happening to me, like, I don't try to, you know, I try to help people, I try to be a good person, I'm not trying to earn the grace, I'm not trying to earn favor, uh, because I know that's not how it works, but, um, you know, there's times when I'm just, like, I'm like, man, I, I would have thought by now that, you know, because I try to be as good, I have good intentions, but that's not, that's not good enough either. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not a, that's not another way of getting things done. Like, God works on his time and I have to accept that good and bad things happen, but God doesn't work on good and bad. Like, things just happen and everything happens for a reason. Uh, my dog has cancer. My son had just beat cancer now my dog has it now I'm, so I'm like kind of traumatized by it because I'm reliving it again and we're going through that I'm going through you know trying to keep the, the shop afloat I'm, I'm trying to keep my sanity you know from having to work so much and uh, you know it sucks dude I mean regardless you're like oh man I wish I could make $1,500 a week yeah I make that but all of it goes to my barbershop all of it goes to you know my 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 bills you know just buying just regular stuff buying groceries gas insurance you know all the stuff that we, we go on a day-to-day -day and i don't feel like i'm living I, I feel like i'm just living to work and uh it's tough bro like mentally it's it's tough and then having to deal with you know stuff at the house it takes a toll on you bro and uh, I, I say that to say this that when we talk about things happening for a reason dude it, it's gonna toughen you up you know, I really feel like uh, I believe that things are going to change in my life and a lot of good's going to come my way. Um, and I got to hold on to that. I got to hold on to that with, with everything that, that I have, man, because you, if you don't, you'll fold, bro. You'll fold. Like if someone was in my shoes having all this frustration and having all these bad things happen and, you know, I don't, I don't even want to call them bad things. Just like unfortunate, you know, things that happen. Like, you know, there's a lot of people dealing with with issues uh and it could be a lot worse and i don't like focusing on that i like focusing on like moving forward and finding solutions and and and, and doing the things that i need to do to be successful whatever's in my power like i already know i can't control everything man I, I can't all i can do is is control what i can control make decisions that are going to help me um and i know there's there's powers beyond me that uh you know things happen you know and i lost my puppy yesterday i got home dad peed in their kennel so i was gonna clean it so i was like i had just brought home dinner and i put the the puppies outside but our my little one molly she's a little bit more she's smaller she hasn't been growing as much as, as zeus which is my other dog so she can fit underneath the fence like a 
real tight fit, but she can fit. But I didn't think that because we covered the, 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 the places that she could get out of. We covered them already. But there was some spots that we we missed and we overlooked. And, man, she was outside for 20 minutes, bro. And, and you know, my girl went outside to, to go bring all the dogs in because her dad was leaving. He was in the backyard feeding the roosters and chickens and stuff. So she went to call in the dogs and Molly didn't come in. And we're like, well, where's Molly at? You know, we're like, oh, she's probably in the back. And we're looking for her. We couldn't find her. So then I'm yelling her name and we're running down, you know, the block trying to see if, but man, in my neighborhood, there's a lot of cars that pass by. And if you see a, a, a badass little pit, you're going to pick them up. You know, I already know that's how people, you know, people are, bro. They're not going to stop and be like, oh, whose dog is this? And then she didn't have her collar on because she was inside. We only put her collar on her because they chew it up. They, they play with each other and they'll chew each other's collars up. So we only put the collars on when we walk them. Well, we take them to the park or something, and um, we hadn't got them chipped because they're so small. They're only what you know, five months old. She's she's still tiny, so we didn't get her get her chipped yet, and uh, it just sucks, man. But you know, now I have a, you know, I got on um, I got on uh, Facebook and I got on Craigslist and I got on you know my neighborhood app. Offering, you know, I first offered 500, now I upped it up to a thousand, and now we're gonna make flyers and pass them out and see what happens. But, you know, I say that all to say this, man. Like, even when I'm in the midst of it, even when I'm going through the the turmoil of life, like you just gotta keep pushing, man. You gotta keep pushing. Uh, and it's it's it sucks, dog. It, it's tough, man. It's really tough. Like, all the stuff that I go through, and I try to stay positive. Just know, man, that there's always somebody out there dealing with something, right? And uh, you just got to keep pushing no matter what. Um, you may not be where you want to be, but all the the valleys, the lows, you can get through it, man. You can get through it. Uh, you just got to stay positive and, and pray, man. Like, I've, I've been praying, like, doesn't mean that, I, you know, like God doesn't work or the way we've been taught, you know, thinking that, oh, man, if you do good, God, good's going to come your way. If you do bad, oh, man, God's going to punish you. It doesn't work that way, man. Uh, your relationship with God shouldn't be based on if you're living good or you're, you're living bad. If God blesses you, oh, man, it's a blessing. Thank you, God. And then when something bad happens, oh, God, man, you're not protecting me or, you know, it's not that. Um, everything happens for a reason. And, and my reasoning for this happening is just like I, I wasn't I just wasn't prepared I didn't it was a mistake by me not covering up all the holes and being you know thorough with my fence and we spent a lot of money on our fence you know it was a five thousand dollar fence that they installed but the thing is it's the dirt when it rains it the dirt drops underneath and it's you know there's a, it just grows the the little holes grow a little bit more so we have to put more dirt to cover and and of course, I was so hungry because I didn't eat lunch yesterday. So when I got home at seven, I was all like, all right, man, I'm going to eat real quick. And then, you know, so I let the dogs out because they had peed so much in the kennel. And it, it's just instinct because that's what we do. I usually leave them out. I go, you know, clean up their section. I let them play outside. I was going to go outside and go play with them. I was just eating my, my dinner and it just happened, man. It just, there's no blame to anybody. Like if anybody is me, I, I should have been more thorough, but it's life and you learn and you learn the lessons and it sucks there's a lot of stuff that sucks and you just got to keep pushing but um you know i just want to let everybody know out there that no matter what's going on in your life like you just got to keep pushing man and you know money's not everything and when you're up don't you know don't be wilding out like when you do get bread don't you know i'm gonna buy the louis i'm gonna buy the gucci i'm gonna buy the blah 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 and you forget about the essentials you forget about your foundation and Bro, we're getting older and older and barbers, like if we're not cutting, we're not making money. So you have to find a solution to that. Whether you create your own product, you know, opening your school, taking over the, the building, buy the building, buy a, a real estate, some rental properties. Like you have to think along those lines, man, because God forbid anything happens to your hands, then how are you going to make it? You know what I'm saying? And I'm 40, I'm about to be 41, you know, and I've been cutting hair for at least 20 years now, you know. It was 16, like 16 with my license, you know, I was cutting for four years, like heavy um, out of my house. Uh, and before that, I, I mean, I started cutting hair when I was like 10. 
Uh, I didn't start doing designs till I was 12. So there's a lot of, you know, a, a lot of history in it, but I never thought it was going to be a career. And now that I'm older, I'm like, man, I need to think along those lines. So if, if I teach anybody anything is that, bro, like you, you got to stay committed, you know, and, and stay positive, make smart decisions and be thorough, be thorough with your life, be thorough with, you know, when you're at work, try to work, like try to fill up all your spots, man. And if you're not using an app, you know, there's different ways, you know, uh, even if you're making flyers, if you're passing out your card, like wearing a t-shirt, hey, even if it just says, let me be your barber, let me, you know, whatever, come up with something and constantly, you know, even on your car, put a sticker on your car, like, hey, you know, I, I, follow me on Instagram, you know, free haircut if you follow me on Instagram and and do a, a promo like that where, you know, all the new followers, you when people follow you, you put their names in a little raffle and every every uh, Monday or Tuesday, you know, man, hook, hook, hook somebody up. Then what do, you, what do you have to lose? You're gaining followers. And if you cut that dude or that, you know, person, kid, whatever, um, you turn them into a client. You could turn them into a lifelong client. Man, I've been cutting people for over 20 years that I went to school with and, and all that and, you know, uh, relatives and whatnot. So that's a lot of money you can make off one person, man. And you build relationships and networking is so important because you know when you do build relationships it's like you inherit their relationships you know what i'm saying whatever relationship they have with other people you inherit that then if you can connect with those people you inherit their you know what i'm saying it's like you're you're you you can reach so far by doing these little things and when you go to these barber conventions barber expos barber whatever uh business expos whatever man just you got to continue to build daily and those are things that I want to teach the young, the young uh, generation coming up, because we we are not trained to think like business people. Like um, we think like barbers. Like, oh man, I just want to cut hair. I want to do badass fades. I want to do badass designs, badass head jobs, badass enhancements. You know, man, I'm getting sixty dollars a haircut. You know what I'm saying? And uh, life is good, but it's like, no man, you there's levels to this, and you want to get to a level to where you're making money while you're sleeping, and um, that's where I'm at. And takes time you know and like i said dude, I, I go through a lot of trials and tribulations it's not easy being joe a lot of people rely on me a lot of people depend on me and being dependable is kind of like a, a blessing and a curse because you're you're so dependable people depend on you and then sometimes they take advantage of that you know what i'm saying and, and then when you need someone and you want them to be dependable they don't step up so it's rough man and life is hard life is tough but regardless you got to keep pushing so if anybody uh you know heard this message and it helped you you know i know my angles are 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 bad because i'm driving but i just wanted to speak my mind real quick man i let y'all know dude like it's it's not all it's not always you know <laughs> it's not always sunshines man there's there's a lot of little things that add up and when i get get to my shop when i'm gonna go through that door all my problems need to stay outside outside that door when I go in, I can't carry that energy. I have to leave that energy outside. And that's the difference between a professional and someone that just cuts hair. Because it's like being a basketball player, a football player, dog. You, you leave all that drama, all the problems, you leave that stuff outside. It's time to perform. It's time to get down. It's time to do, you know, do good. And you can't have that energy or that tension and try to cut hair and, you know, oh man, I'm having a bad day. You can't let that ruin, you know, your day. Your mentality is everything. Your mind controls the rest of your body, man. And if your mind, you're frustrated and you're, it's going to show in your cuts, man. And you, you got to be strong enough to to turn that off. And you can share with your, your, your customers, man. Like, yeah, man, you know, I've been having a bad day and, you know, this and that happened. If they ask you and you want to talk about it, yeah, you could do that. But the fact is that you don't want to have to do that, man. You don't want to carry that burden and give it to your clients. It's better to sp spread positivity and, you know, um, just talk about them. Let it be about them, man, really. But, you know, depending. But anyways, I don't want to ramble on. I just wanted to share this with you and let y'all guys know, man, no matter what's going on in your life, keep pushing. Wake up every day. Have a purpose uh ask yourself why you're doing things and be thorough like learn from me you know if you're not thorough and think okay man before i do this what else should i be you know concerned about um and then and then think man because when i let my dogs out i should have thought that i should have thought like okay well let me make sure that you know everything's clear out here 
whether they're gonna chew on something or whether they're gonna you know get out of the gate or whatever like i should have thought that way and i didn't i was so i was so focused on eating that um i didn't think like that so i didn't go outside to make sure that they were that they that everything was was good you know so it just it, it happens man but hopefully i just pray that god somehow some way we get our dog back you know whether i don't care if it cost me a thousand dollars it's not even about the money the dog you know it's the dog we've invested so much emotionally into it and it's my son's dog and you know it's it's like it's she's part of the family and uh you know one of my dogs has cancer and he might not be around so long so it's like having her kind of helps you know and she she's like the she's like the crazy one she's just funny her her characteristics are so like funny and it makes us happy so we're gonna miss her but i pray that god somehow you know brings her back you know i'm not gonna question how but i believe he will and i'm just gonna trust in that and you gotta have a good day man so all right y'all stay blessed y'all stay faded